What's going on guys? Uh, it's been a while. Um, I haven't uploaded any videos because I have been chasing down um, problems from when the machine shop and the mechanic put my uh, engine back together. Um, so lately I've been hunting boost leaks um, and ordering parts and whatnot. It's kind of hard to do obviously while you're traveling getting stuff delivered. So um, where we're at now is I have brand new set of uh, Mishimoto lifetime warranty boots on not sponsored <clears throat> and in doing that it uh sprung a boost leak on my intake manifold gasket um so now i need to pull that apart and it's not a hard job uh, i searched around the internet just to see if anybody had done it and i didn't really find anything granted i only spent about 15 minutes doing it looking but uh, so we're just gonna get this thing apart. Um, the intake manifold is this, uh, the gaskets right here. That little piece right there. Um, and where I'm leaking boost is from uh, the grid heater gasket, the top and the bottom, and between the, uh, the head and uh, the intake here. Not a whole lot to do, but we're gonna go ahead and start getting it apart. We're gonna get this clamp loose. We're gonna get the, this, uh, oil dipstick undone we're going to get the intake elbow off um and then once we get there i'll be back all right so what we got going on here is i took the common rail out with all of the connectors tight on the end connected to the common rail um so i just re disconnected them all from the pass-through tubes disconnected uh, the top here the bottom and cylinder six back there so as you can see, I got plenty of room to get to the intake manifold without having the extra step of having to put each individual line back on. It may bite me in the ass later on, but uh, as for now, I'm just going to go ahead and send it. Let's get this intake manifold off of here, and then I got to start cleaning the surfaces and get ready for some RTV action, and I'll be back. All right, as you can see, I was able to get the intake manifold out. Um, I already went ahead and cleaned the surface there. Um, one thing that I did notice is like all these inside bolts... Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and add thread locker, or not thread locker, thread sealant to all the inside ones because the bolt goes straight through into the intake manifold, as you can see. So um, I got this cleaned up. I got it vacuumed out. Um, I got my common rail. It is wrapped up so no dirt or sand or anything gets in it because, as you can see, I'm literally in the desert doing this. Um, all right, and I've got... The intake sitting over there on my table. I'm going to get my RTV and my brand new gasket, go over there, and uh, I'll give you another update when I get a little off further along. I'll be back. All right, so you can't really see the black gasket because I have it coated in RTV on both sides because I really don't want to ever have to take this thing off again. Um, I'm sick and tired of working on this truck. So RTV on both sides of the gasket. Hopefully it'll never leak boost again. And if it does, maybe I'll get so pissed off that I'll put black RTV on it next time. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so what's going on in the truck? All righty. So we got the uh, intake manifold on there. Um, I got two of the 10 millimeters in. I got the first one and the last one on the outside because um, those are the ones on the outside that are actually used with these small ones. The These two are from the uh, intake horn, and the next three are the common rail bolts. They're longer. Um, so you skip those two there and you put one there Obviously, I got thread sealant new thread sealant on them So one there skip two and then just do the rest on the back side and get those torqued down and I'll be back All right, so we got the common rail in all the fittings for the fuel are tight um, All of the bolts for the intake are tight so now We are switching over to the intake elbow and the gaskets for that and the grid heater that's down there and uh, I'll be back. I ended up ordering a grid heater delete and to pick up from where I left off in the video, you just put the grid heater delete in place of the grid heater and reassemble and I will show you all that right here and we'll wrap this up guys and gals. Ooh, okay, so let me zoom out a little bit, there we go. So we went with just like a cheap black uh, anodized uh, grid heater delete from eBay. It came with a couple of sets of uh, uh, gaskets. And on the other side of it, it has two ports in it for if, 
he wanted to add anything to it, like a boost gauge or anything like that. Um, it was like 20 something dollars and it was, if you ask me, a pretty good deal compared to buying something with a name etched in it that was a hundred or so. But, uh, we got that in, um, not leaking boost at the uh, intake elbow anymore. So we're good to go. Um, all right. Well, that wraps it up guys and gals. Oh, as always, thanks for watching. Enjoy the view of Bryce Canyon. Cause that's where we are now. But, uh, if we don't see you on the road, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.